Okie dokie, guys. Ready? Here we go. And attention. Yes, ma'am. Bow here. Feet apart. Thumbs in the air. And nice and strong. Here we go. I'm a little ninja. I try my best to have fun. And what is about attention? Yes, ma'am. Good job. Shake it out because we're getting ready to do some exercises. But before we start, I want you guys at attention. You guys should have your feet together. You should be standing with your hands at your side, looking straight ahead, because today you're going to work on discipline. Raise your hand if you can tell me what discipline is. Anybody know what discipline is? Brandon. What do you have, Brandon? Discipline is respect. You're definitely showing respect when you are being disciplined. Anybody else have an idea? Brendan, did you have an idea? Brendan? You were going to say what he said? Yeah? All right, discipline's when we're listening. Okay, discipline. Oops. Discipline is doing what you know you're supposed to be doing. That's what discipline is. It's making sure that... Um, you know, when you're standing at attention, you're making your body stand at attention. Let's see who's standing at attention. Luke is, Owen is, Brandon is. Brendan, good job, Brendan. Are you standing at attention, Tyson? Thank you, Tyson. All right, discipline is doing what you know you should do. It's even doing things without being told. Should you have to be told to, should you have to be told to brush your teeth? No, brushing your teeth should be normal that you just do because you know you're supposed to do it. No. This is an example of poor discipline right now. Okay, how about, <laughs> did you uh, um, clean your room without being told? Yes. Yes, yeah, because it's your stuff. You should be responsible for it and put it away. Having good discipline. Okay, now we're gonna do something, something kind of silly. When you have good discipline, we're gonna call that a 10. When you are at perfect discipline, who can show me attention with perfect discipline at a 10, a level 10 perfect discipline? Brandon has good, yeah, that's it. Good job, guys, a level 10 discipline, good job. Now show me, show me what a level one discipline would look like. Mm -hmm. that, what's a level one discipline looking like? It might look something like, <laughs> right? That's not good. That's not good discipline, right? Yeah. Show me one more time. A level 10 discipline at attention. Show me level 10. All right, that's good. Good discipline. All right. Okay, now here's the funny part. I want you to show me jumping jacks at a level one discipline. What would level one discipline look like with jumping jacks? Can you do some silly jumping jacks with me? Jumping jacks. Jumping jacks. Those aren't real jumping jacks, are they? All right, and attention. Nah. Yes. Nah. All right, every time I say attention, it's a level 10 attention. All right, this time we're gonna do some level 10 jumping jacks, and we'll do 10 of them. Ready? Level 10 discipline jumping jacks. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and stand at attention. And those were some awesome level 10 jumping jacks. Nice. All right, this time we're gonna run with some high knees. We're gonna run with our hands up and our knees are gonna come to our hands. But this time, this time, let's run at like a level five discipline. What would a level five discipline run look like? Ready? Begin. Kind of doing it, not really doing it. And attention. Now, now that's kind of silly, right? That's silly. We don't want to waste our time doing level five discipline. We want level 10 discipline. So let's run with our high knees super fast until I stand at attention. So watch the screen so you know when to stop. Ready? 
Keep those hands out. Run with high knees. Ready, go. Run really fast. Go, 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 go. Run, run, run. Level 10. Good job, guys. Woo, nice level 10 discipline. All right, let's put our feet apart. Put our arms out to the side. And we're not even gonna play around. We're just gonna do level 10 arm circles. Ready, go forward. A little bigger. We've got level 10 and big. Now we're not going crazy, right? And freeze. Tyson, freeze. Thumbs up. Have good discipline. Don't let your arms glide away. Ready? Small circles back. And a little bigger. And big. Tyson, do it right. Yeah, And freeze. Good job. Shake out those arms. Nice. Nicely done. All right. Make your feet, make your feet like twice your hip width. So a bit wide. Ready? Both hands up and over to one foot. And come on up and go whoo do the wave over to the other foot. Keep those legs nice and straight. We're doing level 10 discipline stretches. Keep those legs nice and straight. And let's do a wave again. A wave over to the other foot. Keep those legs nice. Good job, Brandon. Brandon, stand up. And one more wave over to the other foot. That's it, Brandon. Good job, Owen. And come on up. All right. Now we're going to lean over. We're going to lean this direction and do our side kick stretch. We're going to kick our legs a lot today. Now put your foot up. Grab your toes. And switch sides. Side kick with the other foot. Nice and straight, having discipline, doing it the way you know it should be done. Now put your toes up and grab your toes. <laughs> Good job. Have a seat. <clears throat> Place one foot out. Tuck the other foot in. Grab your toes. <laughs> and come on up. Switch your legs. And come up and put your feet together. And I would like Brendan Duggan to tell us what has wings and flies. Flying marshmallow. A flying marshmallow? Oh man. I know some kids at my house that would love to have some marshmallows fly up to our house. Where do marshmallows go? Um, to marshmallow land. To marshmallow land. Of course. Of course. All right, ready? All right, clap our wings. On our way to Marshmallow Land. Ready? Wings up. I think I see it. Let's go down. Oh, wait, come on up. That wasn't Marshmallow Land. That was Cotton Ball Land. Close. All right, let's keep flying. I think Marshmallow Land is just around the corner. Oh, there it is. Ready? Wings up. Let's go down to Marshmallow Land. All right, well done, guys. Ready? 
We're going to face up. Plant your foot. Protect your face. Push up off the floor. Step back and say, I am. Attention. Yes. Good yeah. job. Go ahead, walk over and get a drink of water real quick. And then you're going to need your chair or your wall or whatever it is that you're going to use for balancing. I am in love with my weed. All right, let's put that over here. All right, is everybody back? Come here. I'm gonna, you're going to be right here. You can use the wall. Oh, stand up. Ugh. You can use the wall over here. All right. Okay. All righty. Everybody's back from getting their drink. Oh, we lost Brandon. Well, he'll, he'll be back in just a second. All right. Let's see how disciplined you guys are. Show me, show me a level, let's do a level three. Let's see, let's see what would a level three discipline look like in listening position two. What would a level three look like? Hmm. Is that, is that really what we should be doing? No, that's not what a level 10 would look like. So let me see a level 10 listening position two. Hands on, backs, uh, eyes on. There we go, good level 10 discipline here. Right, attention. Thanks. Oh, you guys gotta be faster than that. Listening position two. And attention. There we go, so much nicer. Okay, today we're gonna work on our roundhouse kicks, all right? And it's gonna require a little bit of discipline from you. Actually, it's gonna require a lot of discipline from you because we're gonna repeat things. And sometimes when we, we repeat things, it gets a little boring. So we'll try to make it different each time. We wanna make sure that you are still having good discipline because the more we repeat something, the more we practice it, the better we become. So the better discipline you have, the better you'll be at karate and at anything that you practice. All right, so I, what I'd like for you to do is stand. Does anybody have a chair? I will go get a chair that I'm at today. All right, there we go. I'm at repeating stuff, buddy. All right, so now I match you. Okay, okay. So I have my chair. I'm just gonna stand sideways to it. It's just to my side, okay? My inside foot, the one that's closest to my chair, I want to point that at my chair. Point my toes to the chair, okay? Point that inside foot towards your chair. I'm gonna bring up my hand that's not holding onto my chair. And I'm going to do my chamber. Now when I lift up that chamber, that foot comes right up here. It doesn't go here. It doesn't go up here. <laughs> it just comes straight across. So that if I wanted to balance something on it, if you wanted to pretend like it was a shelf, it could hold something. You can't really see that because it's black on black, but it can hold something. If I had it down, ah, oh, my shelf is broken. So we have to make sure our chamber is nice and strong and a level 10 discipline chamber so that we can practice our kicks properly. Yeah. There's no point in practicing things wrong. That's just silly. That's just silly. All right, so hand on your chair, or you're on your wall. Hand on your chair. Point that inside foot, the foot that's closest to your chair. Point it right at the chair. Put your hand up next to your chin. And chamber, make that shelf. Good. Make that shelf nice. Make sure this leg here that's standing up and down, that you're standing on, make sure it's not completely locked. Make sure it's a little bit flexible, all right? Good job. Who has good discipline? You gotta hold it. You got it, you got it, be strong. All right, now put it down. Oh, it's kind of tricky to hold that for that long. It uses muscles that you don't usually use every day. It uses these side muscles to keep that leg up. All right, this time, I just want you to watch. 
show good discipline while you're watching. This time we're going to bring up our chamber, bring up our shelf right here, and I'm just gonna extend the foot. All right, that's all we're gonna do. Ready? All right, make sure this inside foot is pointed to the chair. Bring up your chamber. Make sure it's a nice shelf and extend the foot. Now bring it down. Good, good job. All right. Here we go. Let's try that again. Make sure your foot's pointing for the chair. Bring up your chamber and extend that foot and put it down. Good. Now this is what we don't want to see. This would be this would be probably like a, a level two roundhouse kick. Did you guys even see that on your screen? No, you barely even, it was so low, it wasn't even on the screen, okay? We don't want chamber kicks like that. We want high chamber kicks with our leg all the way out, nice and straight, okay? All right, this time, this time, we're gonna go ahead and do all four steps of the kick. The first step, chamber, put up that shelf. The second step, kick. The third step, re-chamber. And then the fourth step, put it down. So chamber, kick, chamber, down. Chamber, kick, chamber, down. I want you to say that in your head. You can even say it out loud if you want to. When you do it so that you go, Chamber, kick, chamber, down. So you get used to that pattern and you get muscle memory going on there. All right, you ready? Here we go. Make sure that bottom foot is pointing towards the chair. Ready, chamber, kick, chamber, and put it down. Good job, Brandon, that was right. Ready, let's do it again, ready? Chamber, kick, chamber, and put it back down. Oh, that's well done. Ready? One more time. Ready and chamber. Bring up that shelf. Kick, chamber, and down. Yeah. Make sure that kick comes out straight. If I am throwing a roundhouse kick, I'm facing my opponent, my body's turned, but my face is facing forward. I'm going to bring up that kick. Yeah, my, my kick is kind of behind my opponent, but my knee isn't. My knee is pointing straight to my opponent. I'm going to extend that right into him or her and then put it back down. All right. If my opponent is right in front of me and I kick like this, I missed him. I didn't even reach him. So you got to make sure that you get that foot all the way out. All right. This time we're going to do five kicks. Five kicks. So what it's going to look like, I just want you guys to watch this one. All right. Just watch it so you know what to expect. So if you guys can please stand at attention. Yes, mom. Thank you. This is what it's going to look like. You guys have good discipline. Stay right where you are. I'm going to have my foot pointing toward the chair. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to put it down. Did I put my foot down in between? No, I did not put my foot down in between. All right, so here we go. We're gonna try this. Go ahead and put your hand on the chair. Point your inside foot towards that chair. Bring your other hand up to your chin. Chamber up. And here we go, five kicks. And one, one two, two, three, four, five. All right, and put it down. Oh, that's such a workout on that leg. I think we need to switch to the other side now. Give that first leg a rest, oh. and we'll go ahead and switch to the other side. All right. Now we've done it once already, so we know what it should look like. So we should be able to practice a little bit more discipline because we already kind of understand what's going to go on. All right. Ready? So you're going to use the all right, ready? Here we go. Now we have a new leg to kick. So put your inside foot, remember, point it towards the chair. Point your toes towards the chair. Bring up your hand to your chin. And 
bring up that chamber. Make sure you have that nice shelf right here. Nice flat shelf and put it down. Ready? Try not to lean so much on your chair. Just use one hand on your chair. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's pretty good, Brandon. Yeah, just oh, just one hand, Owen, but that's about right. Okay, ready? Point your foot towards your chair. Bring your hand to your chin and chamber. And put it down. Good. Ready? One more time. We'll practice that chamber one more time. Ready? Bring up your chamber. Hold it. Show me a level 10 chamber. Who has a level 10 chamber? Oh, Brandon's getting it up there. Luke is working super hard. Oh, he's got it up there. Brendan, Brendan, pretty good. And put it down. Nice. All right, this time we're gonna go ahead and chamber and then just extend our leg out nice and straight. Gotta use those muscles and you gotta show discipline. It's hard sometimes when you have to do things. You don't really want to do them, like cleaning your room, but you know it has to get done or else you're not going to have a clean room. So this might be one of those times. It's hard. This is hard to do, to hold your muscles nice and tight to keep that kick up. You guys are strong, and you can do this. Ready? Hand to your chin. Point your foot towards that chair. Show good discipline, chamber. And extend your kick. And sit back down. <laughs> Use your other foot on. There you go. Ready? Chamber. Make sure that foot is up nice and high, that it's not down here. And it's also not behind you like this. It's up. You're making a shelf. And extend that kick. And put it down. All right. One more time. We'll practice that. Ready? Hand up to your chin. Where's that other hand? There you go. Chamber. And extend the kick. And put it down. It also shows discipline to follow along with instructions. So make sure that you're doing exactly what I ask you to do. Ready? This time we're going to practice our four steps. What's the first thing that we do? Raise your hand if you can tell me the first step in our uh, roundhouse kick. Brendan Duggan. Chamber. Chamber, good job. What's the second thing we do? Chamber. What's the, what's the second thing we do after we chamber? Um, Brandon. Do you remember? And that's the word. We kick, right? So we chamber and then we kick. What's the third thing that we do? Who knows the third thing that we do? Oh, are you raising your <laughs> Luke, I couldn't tell you were raising your hand. Luke, what's the third thing that you do? Chamber. That's right. We re-chamber. And then, Owen, what's the last thing we do? Down. We put it down. That's right. So let's try those four movements. Make sure your base foot, the one closest to your chair, the one you're standing on, is pointing towards the chair. Turn that foot and that knee towards that chair. The other hand is up. Ready, let's count them out. Ready, one, chamber. Two, extend your kick. Three, re-chamber. And four, put it down. Yeah. Let's do it all together. Ready, one, chamber. Two, kick. Three, chamber. Four, put it down. Good discipline, Owen. You did it right with me. Ready. One more time. And one, two, three, four. Well done. Attention. All right. We did five kicks on this side. Now we're going to do five kicks on this side. Don't put your foot down. And we're going to do level 10 discipline. We're going to do it right. There's no time for us to not do it right. So let's practice it right. Ready? Put your hand on that chair to help with your balance. Point your toe towards it. Hand up next to your chin. Keep it up there. Make sure that you're chambering nice and high. Ready? Five <coughs> kicks. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. And put it down. Good job. Attention. 
Well done. Shake out those legs and walk over and get a drink of water. Okay, you're just doing supposed to be doing five on the side. Mm -hmm. We are done with your chair if you want to move that out of the way. Okay, only five minutes left. You will need your pillow or your bag. Somebody is nearby, they can hold it for you. If you don't have anybody nearby, you can move it. All righty. You got everybody back? Okay. Attention. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you guys practice those roundhouse kicks with the chair. Your next goal is to be able to do all that without a chair. All right. Oh. Who's, who's, who's that attention? Brandon, you are doing such a good job standing still. Good job with your hands at your side. Thank you, Owen. Luca, is some your eye bothering you? All right, Brandon, you ready to punch? We're gonna do some punches. The punch that we're gonna to do today is our back fist. Now, yesterday, not yesterday, uh, Tuesday, if you were in class on, you guys were in class on Tuesday, we did the back fist. I'm gonna scoot back a little bit. We did the back fist like this. We came down towards our belly mm -hmm. and then popped it up like this. So it was straight up and down back fist. But today, we're gonna to stick our elbow out to the side and we're gonna back fist to the side. Side like that. Okay, so this would be like your Tyson. Come here, real quick. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, so if I was beating up Tyson, I wouldn't beat him up. Okay, and I wanted to back this to the front of his face, then the one that we did before on Tuesday coming up and going like that is good. But if I'm if I'm fighting him like this and I just want to get him on the side of the head. I'm going to raise my elbow and pop him on the side of the head. So that's what this one is. So they're both they're both back fists, but this one's going sideways. All right, I'm not going to hit you. Okay. All right, so we're going to practice that. What I want you to practice first is what to do with our hands with that with that back fist. So everybody in a fight stance, Smith. Aya. In your fight stance. Aya. Okay. All right. First thing you're going to do, I'm going to turn a little bit so you can see a little better. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to raise that elbow up so it points out straight from you. Look, you're making another shelf, just like you did with your leg for the roundhouse kick. We're using the arm that is in the front. And you're just going to extend that hand out and bring it right back to your chin. All right? Okay. I know. So when I say move, we're already going to have that elbow out there. When I say move, you're just going to go, ah, yeah. All right? Ready? Here we go. Tyson, are you ready? Here we go. Elbow up. And for the back fist. Ready? Move. Ah, yeah. Move. Ah, yeah. Move. Ah, yeah. And attention. All right. We got our how to do it and how not to do it going on here. Come here, Tyson. Okay, all right, Tyson. Can you show us a level one back fist? What's a level one back fist? If I ask you to do a back fist and you do a back fist, how's the worst way you can do a back fist? Yeah, that's a pretty bad way to do a back fist. How about, how about if we go like this? If we're like this and we throw a back fist like this, is that helpful? No, that's not having good discipline, right? What we want to have is good discipline and focus on that uh, punch. It just goes out nice and straight. Okay, so now if you have the person who can hold a pillow or a bag for you, we're going to go ahead and practice right on that target. Back fists help when you have your sits. Uh, yeah, we're right about there. Right about, right about here. That's good. Okay, so fight stance. All right, everybody in the fight stance. Oh, no, no, you're, you're fine. You're fine like that. You're fine. All right, ready? 
Pick your elbow up. No, we're doing the front hand. Remember the front hand. Pick your elbow up and back fist. Move. Yeah. And back in. Make sure you keep that elbow up. Keep that elbow up. Oh, is that level 10 discipline? Show me level 10. Ready. Move. Was it just good? Uh, quick back. That was nice, Tyson. That was good, but you got to draw that. Pull that hand right back. Ready. Let's do 10 back fists. Ready. Move. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, are you showing discipline? So discipline. Do what you know you should do. Good job. Now switch your feet. Okay, we're just going to practice a few of them with this side now. I didn't ask for you to drink yet. Not yet. All right. We're just going to practice a little bit on this side. Hands to your chin. Oh, both of them. Thank you. Say it nicer. Ready? Raise up your front elbow. And we're using the back of our hand. Ready? And put that back fist out. Uh, back into your chin. Oh, uh, keep your hand up, Brendan. Brendan. Uh, keep your other hand up. Where's your other hand? Dug in. Where's your other hand? There you go. <laughs> Ready? And elbow up. Make that shelf. Ready? Move. Ah, yeah. Good job. Let's do one more practice. Ready? Move. Ah, yeah. Good job. All right. Ready? Now we're going to do it on our target. Let's do 10, level 10, discipline, back fists. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, pretty nice job. Attention. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, that's, that's a much easier workout than those kicks. Those kicks really required a lot. But maybe the punches required a little bit more discipline because you had to make sure you kept both hands up next to your chin when you were throwing that punch, that this hand didn't just fall down. You had to make sure that you didn't hit down low or too high or too far back. Okay? Discipline, doing what you know you should do all the time. Okay. All right. Ready? Attention. Yes, ma'am. Level 10. Go ahead and get a drink of water and then we'll play a quick game. What game are we going to play? Oh. It's a fun game. Oh. But you have to show good discipline. Hi. Hi. Step back, please. All Here we go. <laughs> Attention. All right, we are going to play Simon Says, except instead of Simon, we're going to say Sifu Says. It's just like a, a, a karate leader, a karate master, Sifu. All right. Okay, you guys ready? Only do what Sifu says. So if I say Sifu says Mabu stance, then you can do it because Sifu said. But if I say fight stance, you should not do it because I didn't start with Sifu says. So you have to be disciplined. Discipline those ears. Discipline your body. Listen to the instructions. All right, here we go. Let's see who can who can uh, make it to the end of this game without messing up. Uh oh, oh no, Owen oh, froze. Okay, here we go. Ready? Attention. Yes, ma'am. And the big game will begin now. Sifu says, listening position two. Ma'am. Sifu says, listening position three. Ma'am. Sifu says, Mabu stance. Yes, ma'am. Sifu says, attention. Ma'am. Fight stance. Uh, oh, no. I didn't, it, it wasn't Sifu says. So if you're in fight stance, go back to attention. 
There you go. All right, Sifu says, spice dance. Uh, uh. Sifu says, back fist. Aya. Uh, uh. Sifu says, two back fists. Aya. Uh, Aya. Uh, Aya. Aya. Three back fists. Aya. 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 Did Sifu say? No. All right, you guys ready? I'm going to trick you. Switch your stance. Wait, wait, wait. No, I got you. I got you. Tyson didn't switch his stance. Sifu didn't say. So switch back. Go back to the first stance. Ready? Sifu says, switch your stance. That's nothing. Good job. Sifu says, jab. Aya. Aya. Sifu says, back fist. Aya. Aya. Sifu says, front hand hook punch. Aya. 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 Cross. Aya. Oh, no, Tyson, Sifu didn't say. Aya. Sifu says, cross. Aya. 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 Sifu says, chamber your front leg. And put it down. Ah, Sifu didn't say, put it down. Chamber that leg. I was right. Regarding testing, because you're down, Luke. <laughs> um, testing, uh, you should have received an email if if your child is eligible for testing. It will be done on Zoom. Master Youssef will send out an email with that information, um, with the link to it, and um, uh, parents will be assisting with the testing. You know, holding bags, helping with techniques and stuff like that. Um, other than that, oh, Tyson, you're supposed to be at attention. Where's your attention? Thank you. Um, other than that, I don't think I really have the announcements. Um,